It's on the way he talks You can see the way he works Yeah, provider That's which we do not know What we do not know Is greater than us Gods of my forefathers I plead for forgiveness Please, forgive Osisi Kanku. Restore his sanity. If the one respected by the people as eyes of the gods is mad, it means we have no representative between the living and the dead. It means we have no communication, no connection with you. Please forgive. And the sun will hold on to you. You will go, you will come, you will fight, you will conquer. Shut up a tiger. Care provider. Hi. Son of Okunka nu kenyo from Wakadiani. I ask you, I beg you, I plead with you to please forgive Osisi Kangun. Restore his sanity. What are you doing here? Take. I'm offering you cola. Take cola. I'm afraid you go there. I'm afraid you go there. Dude. We reach of a hiller. Strange of a tiger. Care provider. Son of a lion. What, what, what am I doing here? What happened to me? Gods of my ancestors. Thank you. What about the shrine? My shrine? Your shrine is fine. Oh. Did anything wrong happen to me? Usisi Kampu, you are healed. Oh. Hey, Wolfie. Wait for me. Arubalezama. I want you to look at this. Take a decision as a man that will be king someday. It boils down to the same thing I said before. Look for another maiden. It is just very certain. I was the one that found this other one for you originally, yes. But the way things are now, she is not the right woman for you. Uh, oh no, I doubt. I doubt if I would believe what you just said. I mean, there is this feeling I have for her. Anyway, I have already sent my guards to fetch Ubaka, the great healer from Aguleri. What? Yes, I need to solve this problem once and for all and get married to her. You want to involve Ubaka in this? Mm -hmm. It is very certain. You are not the one talking. There is a spirit that is living inside of you. That is speaking through your mouth. Can you deny that? Love. Love conquers all. No. I am ready to show her genuine love. All that is left is to get a very good healer that will retrieve her womb from the moon. She has possessed you. Even bewitched you. And I feel this possession is actually beyond redemption. Oh, no, yes. I am possessed. She has possessed me. And you, Onowu, have a very big role to play. And you have been possessed. <laughs> Onowu, let us come together and make things work. Please, 
and everything will fall into place. I heard the sound. I heard it loud and clear. I heard the great sound of Ikulumu Akadiani as it filled the air. Okunka Anukeni of Umu Akadiani. I connect to my ancestors through you. Just like as the days of old, I ask you, I plead with you, let the sound of Ikolo bring us fortune. It will bring us good news. <laughs> my very good friend. My friend, I greet you. I heard the sound of the echo, so I decided to come and call you. You are welcome and it is good to see you again. I also heard the sound of echo and it's a sound of joy. Hmm. Let us go. Let's go. It's in the way he works. He can see the way he talks. It is said that a bangle worn on the wrist requires no mirror to say it. We all know what happened to Osisi Kanku, who was the chief priest but of our land. He is still the chief priest. He was sick, but now he's okay. Could this be the reason you summoned all the men with the Ikolo? Anyone can get sick at any time. How dare you? Be careful and do not interrupt me again. This meeting was summoned by the great Ikolo Umakadiani. A sacred meeting, not a meeting summoned with Me or Gene or Ekwe. This is a sacred process, and we must face why we are here. Uma Kadian, before OCC Kanku was made well again. We made several consultations and sacrifices both in this land and beyond. And it was revealed that OCC Kanku misrepresented the gods. And they made him mad. By the sounding of great Ikolo, OCC Kanku is no longer the chief priest of this land. The new chief priest is here with us. And Umu Akadiani, we know already how to confirm who that person is. Uh, 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 I am interested in knowing how you intend to make the confirmation. Uh, men of my land, I, 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 I want to be the, the chief priest. Yes, this is, I, I, I can make a good priest. What is wrong with you? Do you think anyone become a chief priest by just wanting to be? Oh, oh, oh. Uh, okay, so, so how do we know? It's okay. Uma Kadiane. There is a man of this land that woke up this morning and saw a large tablet of Unzu, just like this, outside his hut. Who is that person? Could I be 
be the one. I woke up this morning to see a large chunk of Funzu in front of my hut. I was about going to, to see a seer to find out the meaning when I heard the sound of the ikolo. It is becoming clearer. It is becoming clearer. Metu. It is possible the gods of our ancestors have chosen you. How? To be the new chief priest. No, 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 no. How? How? Huh? Anybody can claim what Mazi Metu just claimed. Huh? No, no, no. Who was there with him? I can, I can, I can claim too that I saw a larger tablet of Uzu. What are you not saying? It's okay. Wait, 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 wait. It's Stop. okay. Ha! Ha! Umu Akadiane. Our ancestors have already known how to do it. And they have always spoken by this OG. This OG will make the confirmation for us. The man that saw the sacred sign will be the only man that will lift this OG and leave. If any other man who did not see this sign tries it, he will die here and now. And that person will not be buried. And I'm starting the process. If you have seen the sacred sign as announced, you lift this oji, and if nothing happens to you, the whole of Uma Kadiani will surrender to you as the chief priest of our land. We are still waiting. Don't be faster than your shadow. What? Obaka, we paid you for this consultation. What are the gods saying concerning the solution to the problem? The gods are silent. I do not have a solution to her problem. Um, Baka. Is there nothing you can do to retrieve a wound from the moon? Ah! If there is, I would have been performing some actions. You have to continue consulting more diviners. Maybe Hachi will disclose the solution to one of them. Just because the prince of my land has decided to solve this problem, I have equally decided to give him all the support that he needs. Open your palm one more time and tell me what we must do. Exactly what I think, that I have not solved the problem, does not mean it cannot be solved. Is that all you know? 
soul of a lion. Ah, spirit of a healer. It's in the way he talks. Strange of a tiger. You can see the way he works. Here, a provider. He's a lion. Greetings to the most handsome gentleman in Umu Akadiani. Greetings, Uzodima. Thank you. I have well prepared abacha with dried meat for you. Hmm. Really? Yes, and it's just for you. <laughs> Did the gods send you to me? Because I'm exhausted and, and very hungry. I was just going to prepare something for myself. Carry out. The moon will bow to your bright eyes, and the sun will hold on for you. You will go, you will come, you will fight, you will conquer. Shine up on tiger. <laughs> Do you like the food? Mm. I love the food. You know, I told you that someday I will not only eat the food you cook, but the one that was cooked in your house and brought to me. I am a man of the gods, I do not lie. Yes. You've proven that to me today, and I'm happy about it. Speak. He's a man I love with all my heart. I want you to make him love me as well. Never to spend a day without me. I am Otika, the son of Agaba. In my world, nothing is impossible. I will do what you want me to do. But you must prepare his favorite food for him. Prepare his favorite food? And do what with it? Take it to him when you know he's hungry. After you must have put the portion I'm going to give to you. When he eats it, he will not remember anything except your name. <laughs> I have tried to cook for him before, but he refused. He is not a man who is interested in food. You have tried to cook for him before and he refused because you did not calculate very well. Calculate and meet him when he is hungry and present him with his favorite. When he eats from it, after you must have put the portion I will give to you, he will never remember anything except your name. What you the son of Agava? Give me the joy of my house. If you want to make me, you want to make me. <laughs> Why are you smiling cheapishly? Ah, because I love you. <laughs> Do you love me? How many times will you ask me this? But you've never answered me. Look, I have told you times without number. If you are destined for me, then the gods will lead you to my heart. Can we go inside? Go inside and do what? What else would a man and a woman be doing inside if not to play? Look, Uzarima, <clears throat> you are good at this. 
and I thank you for bringing it the time you did. Did the charm really work? Why is he still talking tough as his old self? Are you alright? Yes. Yes. I'm fine. Ekunife. Take me inside. If you love me. Um. Thanks for the food. I'm enjoying it. You do what is right, Avahila. Spirit of a healer. Stranger of a tiger. Stranger of a tiger. It's on the way he talks. Stranger for tiger. You can see the way he works. Yeah, provider. He's a liar. He's a shot after shot. Ah. Otika said something else, and what happened was the direct opposite. Does it mean Otika has no powers at all? Or does he mean he has some powers protecting him? Mwadioto, what is the meaning of this? Are you stalking me now or what? You are becoming too desperate. You're becoming too desperate to get this man that you forget he is a man of the gods. Be careful. Be careful lest you burn those your tiny looking fingers in that same fire which you set to roast those your useless yams. And what if I may ask is the meaning of this rubbish you're vomiting from your mouth? Are you insulting me? You know, the more you pretend like you don't know what I'm talking about, the more it becomes very obvious. Be careful. I like you. I like you very much. But as a friend, do not make me see you otherwise. Do you still remember the instructions given to you? I don't understand. What instructions are you talking about? Don't go astray. Always make inquiries. I don't understand. I don't know you people. Who are you? This is a warning. And I want you to retrace your steps. I am going to see a woman I love. We won't fight for you again. Retrace your steps or we'll flog you. First, I don't know who you are. You are blocking my way. And now, you are going to flog me. Forgive me. 
was me too. I had a terrible dream. Wokem. Your father, Okunka Nukeni, is very angry. The same thing I had always wanted to avoid. But how? Why? You didn't adhere to all his instructions. You chose those that pleased you and discarded the rest. He is angry. You must be very careful, else you will be destroyed. Mazimeta, what exactly have I done? Put your mind to task. Remember those instructions he gave you. And also try to remember those you have not done. And begin to do them immediately. He told me a lot of things before he died. Please, Mazimito, consult him. I mean, let him tell you things that I have not done. Or things that I have failed to observe. Peace. I have never offended you when you were alive. Why will I offend you now that you are no more? Father, why do you punish me for something I know nothing about? Why? Reveal it to me so that I apply caution. I have followed your rules your instructions. I have never gone astray, Father. Why have you turned your back against me? Why? Believe in me, Nam. Please. I am nothing without you. Forgive me, forgive me. Please. What are you talking about? Forgive me. What have you done? What is this? I, I prepared love charm for you, but but it, no. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I'm, I'm sorry. So, this this is where all this is from. Get out. Go before you see me. Sorry, please, please. Why did I fall cheaply for this trap?
why did you refuse to follow the gods? Please look for another maiden, my prince. I do not wish to continually bring you this shame. You know my history. I have come across so many maidens before I met you. I am ready to do everything possible to ensure you get your womb back. You have spent so much on me. The money you have spent on me is enough to marry seven maidens. Am I complaining? I am ready to spend more until your womb is restored. I love you beyond words. I love you too. Ada, let's come together and overcome what is coming to us. The Obaze festival is fast approaching. You have to get married so you can retain the throne. I do not want you to lose the throne because of me. There is something more superior than the throne itself. And that is my happiness. You are my happiness. And I'm ready to do everything, everything for you to get back your home. Where you love is peace. The hours will pass. Greetings, Ono. And I bless them my greetings. How are you? Please sit down. There will be no need for that. My mind is unsettled. What troubles you? Ono. Our inability to solve Adanwa's problem is devastating to oh, me. Oh, my prince, stop. Is this why you are here? To talk about Adanwa? Have I not told you to forget about Adanwa and send up another maiden? She is not the right woman for you. You don't understand. She's not just the right woman for me. But she is the only one for me. Oh, well. I am here to tell you that I have decided to consult Agwotorambe. What? Are you serious with what you just said? You want to consult Agwotorambe because of this nonsense? What is wrong with you? The money you will spend consulting Agwotorambe can marry 20 maidens for a man. Why would you want to spend that kind of money on a dumb one? Because of what? When there are other options? Stop, please. You can't do a thing like that. My late father told you about my happiness. That I have to always enjoy your happiness? Yes, I remember that. But did he tell you that making an impossible decision is part of your happiness? superior under the throne itself and that is my happiness you are my happiness i am ready to lose everything and gain you he's very nice to me why can't i just have him considering his proposal is one thing 
actually allowing him to have a taste of your womanhood is another. Do not try it. Mm. Please, for your own good, do not try it too. <laughs> Someone from our family tried it a long time ago with a man from Abagana and it ended in total disaster. You are very precious to us. Too precious to let you waste away like that. Please, always remember that. Greetings. Daughter of the moon. I am the shine of the shine. Shine of the shine. Greetings. Sorry. The prince asked us to bring these items to you. Oh. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you coming. Thank you for bringing these. Are you alright? Uh, I feel like I may be having Iba. Sorry about that. Do we inform the prince? No. I'll be alright. Okay. We'll be leaving now. Please let the prince know that I shall visit the palace when the sun goes down. You don't, you don't know me. You see what you people are doing to me Move. in this land. A day will come when you regret this. When the truth will come, no finally. Problem. You will suffer from this. So be it. Okay. I am telling you. So be it. Okay. Let your blood be on our heads. Um, please. You must confess or we will set you ablaze. Why are you pulling up uncle like someone who just killed somebody? Ask them again. Did you hear what he said? Mahila, I was in my hut. I just came back. I wanted to rest. These people came. They knocked. I came out. They didn't even allow me to say a word. They started beating me. Look at my body. They maltreated me like a son of a nobody. Shut up! I should shut up. Shut up! You will experience more beating when the okay. truth must have been known. Remember you are in front of the healer. Um, please. Great men of our land. Speak to me in the language that I would understand. What happened? We have been looking for two of our goods since two days now. We couldn't find them. So we decided to conduct the search. Only for us to find a pot of goat meat pepper soup in the bush near Okonku's house. He ate the pot of pepper soup there because he knew we would search his house. If it was around my house, what would happen? You found a, a pot of goat pepper soup around my house. You tagged me a thief. What for? You're still lying. Shut up! Mahila, with due Shut respect, up. with due respect, let me learn. Mahila will do respect. A pot of good pepper soup can be found anywhere in Umwa Kadiani. Anywhere around the bush in this kingdom. Shut up! Mahila. Upon I said, shut up. Who doesn't know you in this village as a thief? You stole our goat and used them in making pepper soup. We know this because the pot we found is yours. It's my pot, you are sure? Even your yes. neighbors confirmed it. Okay. We are go. Obongo. Did you take their goats? Mahila, let me be open. Let it not look as if I am talking too much. I hate goat meat. This is the truth. From when I was born till now, I have never tested goat meat in my life. Obongo. The smell alone is a very big problem to me. How can I steal a goat I don't eat? Is it possible, Mahila? Very well then. Please, excuse me. You ate goat meat. Oh, you! You are begging me. You don't like goat meat. You are begging me too. You! 
Silence! Honor and his brother come forward. Both of you stretch forth your hand to the edge of the sleeves. If you and your brother are falsely accusing our uncle of theft, then you will not be able to tear these leaves. But if the reverse be the case, then you will. Now, Step backward. Oponku. Mahila. Step forward. Okay, what do you want to do? Oponku. Mahila. If they are lying against you, let the gods vindicate you. He said, stretch forth your hands to the tip of the sleeves. If you are innocent of this accusation, then this leaves will not tear. But if you're not, then it will tear. Now, Cool. What you're asking me to do is a difficult task. Otabike. This simple task is now a difficult task for you. Otabike, I've known you for years. Mm -hmm. I just give you a simple task and it is now a difficult one for you. Otabike is my name. Of course I know. Making impossible things possible is what I'm known for. You have to pay. How much are we talking about? Okala Bego, half bag of money. Okay, I'll give you the money. I want the shame that the people of Umar Kadeani give to me, I want it to end today. It is too much on me, I can't bear it anymore. What shame up uncle? The one that gets me angry is whatever that gets missing in this Umar Kadeani. They will call Obongo. Obongo did this. Mm. Obongo did. I am tired. If they take me to any suitor, anybody that they will find the truth from, let everybody go blind. That is my. That is what I want you to do for me, and you must do it. The, I will give you them even more than the money. Arrange the money. I to be done. Why are you uneasy, Obongo? Why are there goosebumps on your body? Were you trying to dare the spirits of my father with your cheap charm? Mahila, I am sorry. Otabaike disappointed me. I stole the goods. I sold one off to the women of Wangulu Kingdom. And I made a very good pepper soup. Yes, please! She will lay no hands on him. Step back! Yeah, go. Now speak. Oh, Wongo. I am very disappointed in you. How could you kill a whole goat and eat it all by yourself? I'm sorry. I'm not the one doing this. There are spirits in me that are doing it. I'm sorry. 
I will pay for the two goods. Great ill of our land. Please, do not listen to this thief. He has a way of making people feel pity for him. You have done your part by making him confess. We have to take him to the village square now. Come on, 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 come Things like this keep coming up every day, but what shall we do? We will continue to render help to people. Hmm. I used to think we had thieves in my land. But from what I have just seen and heard, the thieves in our land are learners. <laughs> How can a man single-handedly kill a goat, skin it, Cook and eat it without his neighbors noticing. And eat alone. The thieves in our land are learners. I, I, I want to know, but please, please. Are we going to wait here all day for you? Can't you do anything? Um, I'll go to Rombe. What are they saying? This is strange and inexplicable. For the very first time in my life, I am seeing a problem that has no visible solution. Um, <clears throat> I go to Rumbe. You, you, you can't say that. I, I mean, this is the maiden I've chosen to become the next queen of this land. There has to be a solution to this problem. Then you will have to locate the man. A woman with a solution. I have no solution to her problem. And you charge the, the kind of amount you charged? Seriously? Do you know how much you pay to bring you here? And you're saying you have no solution? And because you spent a fortune to bring me here, I must solve what I have no clue as how to solve. Be mindful of your words, Onohu. Or you do what? No, are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? I mean, what you're you, you addressing oh, that oh, way? Oh, no. Putting that nonsense at me? Oh, no. Look at this man. Oh, no. Who is this man? Oh, please, please, please. Take it easy. It, it is all my fault. You, you warned me, but I wouldn't listen. I go to Rambe. Can't you do something? I mean, anything. Just, just do something, okay? I'm ready to pay you more. There is a man of Omakadiani, a man of the gods, who inherited a powerful mantle of healing from the Father. He is the one that to solve this problem. I got to number. Are you sure of what you are saying or are you planning to waste our time further? Go to Makadan. Ask of a popular healer called Ekunife Okunka. He is the one that will solve this problem.
both of you. Go to Umwakadiani Kingdom and fetch me the healer. Tell him the Prince of Umulili Kingdom is ready to pay whatever amount to get into my kingdom. Go. I am made for you. I am waiting for you. Daughter of the moon. I am right here for you. Get me a don't want. Daughter of the moon. I am the son of the shy. The son of the lion. I am waiting for you. What's the meaning of this? If only you will rise above your stupidity and come with me, then I will take you to him and he will forgive you. What do you mean by that? Are you going to continue acting like you don't know what I'm talking about? If that is what you're going to do, then I will let you wallow in your stupidity. Why do you throw it? Greetings. Greetings. The prince wishes to speak with you now. Tell the prince I said he has done enough to demonstrate his love for me, but I, I cannot continue to bring further shame to him. You don't understand. Are you not coming with me? No, I am not. Snatch the back. She's holding. Who is speaking? What is it? Why? Why, why did you snatch my bag? I'm sorry. But the voice said I should take it away from you. Let's go and see the prince. A voice? Yes. What voice? I don't know. But he was very clear. He said I should grab the bag. Hey. It could be the voice of the late king. You never can tell. The late king may have decided to step in from the dead and solve the problem. Let's go see the prince. And when did you start going around the kingdom with a rope in your bag? I'm sorry, my prince. I feel bad for all the embarrassments my problem is, is causing you. Am I complaining? I know you love me, my prince. But sincerely, I feel unworthy of all the sacrifices you're making just to ensure my womb comes back to me. Did I complain to you? Did I? So you wanted to hang yourself? Oh, that would have been worse. Now you have given me enough reason not to let you off my sight until the solution is found. I cannot live here with you, my prince, if that is what you're implying. We're not married. Yet. There are enough rooms in the palace. I am sorry. But you stay in here until the solution is found. My mother's sister Mbanugo will kill me if she hears what you're saying. And where can I find her? Why? I need to talk to her. 
Where can I find her? Greetings. Who are you and what is the reason for this intrusion? We are not intruders. We are here in peace. We are guards from the palace of Umolili Kingdom. I see. No wonder your faces are not familiar. Please, come and sit down. We will be fine standing. I am sorry that does not work for me. You came all the way from Umolili Kingdom down to Mwakadiani Kingdom, down to my house to see me. Tradition demands that I offer you at least cola, and I cannot do that while you are standing. So please, come and sit down. Thank you. Please, don't bother about the cola. We are here on the instructions of the Prince of Umolili. The woman he wishes to marry has a problem that none of our healers have been able to solve. I see. The solution follows identification. Has the problem been identified? Yes, but it has not been solved. And that is why we are here. Her womb is still with the moon. Many diviners have been consulted, but none have been able to prefer solution to the problem. One of the diviners directed our prince to you, and he asked us to come and bring you. Hmm. It's a very big problem. I need to consult my ancestors before embarking on such a mission. Are you saying you will not come with us to see the prince? Exactly what I am trying to make you to understand. I would have to consult my ancestors, ask for their approval before embarking on such a journey. Go back and tell your prince what I have just said. I am not going to ask you not to do what you have decided. But please, be gone. If she must remain here, do not even attempt to set eyes on her womanhood. I have no such plans. I am keeping her here to protect her from further attempt to harm herself. You said that already, and I heard you clearly. I am just trying to explain things so that you do not fall victim. One Adan wine our family tried it long ago with a man from Abagana and it did not end well. I do not want you to make the same mistake. No such thing will happen. I have made arrangements for her to be housed in my mother's room. She will be comfortable in the palace. She will definitely become my wife. It's only a matter of time. Ozeman, I need you to accompany me to Umolili Kingdom. Ah, what business do you have in Umolili? The Prince of Umolili invited me to come restore the womb of his wife to be. I don't understand. Restore the womb? How? The maiden is possessed by the spirit of the moon. And as we speak, it has a womb. Ah, that's serious. Eh? How do you want a man of no power like me to accompany you on such a deadly mission? No, no, no. What if the spirit leaves her and enters me? It will eh? not enter you. <laughs> The spirit of the moon is for women and spirit of the sun for men. Uh, the sun and the moon are like brothers. I can't accompany you to such a dangerous mission. Ozemena, nothing would happen to you. Ah. My spirit wants me to go with somebody and there is no other person in my mind other than you. Come with me.
I, I, I will go with you on one condition. Name it. Uh, that you, you give me, give me this bead on your neck. This, this one. You want this? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> now that you have touched the beats, are you satisfied? You have given me more reason to be scared of you. <clears throat> <clears throat> Are you coming with me or not? Huh? Is anybody home? Is anybody home? Who is here? I'm coming. Hmm? The great son of Okunka. Anukeni. The greatest healer of my time. <laughs> you are welcome. Thank you. Odu Modu. Mount Dili. That is my name. The masquerade of the night. Come on, it's been that. a while. Greetings. Let me get you cola. Thank you. Oh, please do not worry about cola. Uh, come and sit down. Why are you looking for someone to accompany you to Molele Kingdom? Mazime to my good friend. Surely you have become a spirit. You now see what people do in secret. I am impressed. I want someone to accompany me to Moli. Of course, I need someone to go with. I see. But listen, it is your journey to greatness. And it is a journey you must embark on alone. The gods are watching over you. And I am in a position to tell you that. Hmm. Um, Mazmito, can you please explain this greatness to me? Hmm. I, I see you rising above your mates. He said. The gods will continue to direct your steps. You may go now. They are tired of waiting. You see, this is the problem I have with our people. Give them little power and it gets into their heads. I don't know why you would set him like that. I mean, where is this coming from? I'm talking about the man from uh, uh, Umu Akadiani that was recommended to me. What about him? What does it take a serious healer to come and attend to someone? It's very clear you are becoming very disturbed. Why are you stressing your life over nothing? There is a problem as we speak. And I know I have told you what to do to solve the problem. Why are you not doing it? What did you tell me? Forget about her dumb one. I don't know what is it you said you have seen in her that you have not seen in any other. That thing, as far as I'm concerned, does not exist. Forget about her dumb one and settle for another. I mean, for a maiden that will give you children. That is what you need. Now. I'm in love with her. <sighs> you don't advise me to get married to who I am not in love with. Then I am going to tell you immediately that when it comes to marriage, I mean, when it comes to procreation, the term love is giving a different interpretation entirely. Do you want me to educate you on that? No, I'm not interested in any outrageous interpretation you have for me. I will go out there and look for him myself. Hey, listen to me. At times when you speak like this, I will start to wonder if they have bewitched you. In fact, I am not happy that you have allowed yourself to be bewitched. You are the prince of this kingdom. 
You are the coming king of this land. There are certain things you must not even dream of. What he just said now is one of them. You want to go look for who? The prince of my land? Why is it so difficult for you to see reasons with me? What is it? I mean, why are you trying to frustrate me by twisting every word that comes out of my mouth? I have not twisted what you said because you have not said anything. What I now know is that you are under a spell. Arabale Zama, and trust me, I am going to resist that spell with everything in me. What you just said gives credence to what I said. But you are deliberately misinterpreting me just to prevent me from healing the one I love and getting married to her. You know, I am so disappointed in you that you are the one doing this. Giving me the impression that you are bewitched for real. I am very disappointed. But let me tell you the truth, Arabale Zama. This will certainly be the last time I will be discussing that dogma with you. Because as far as I'm concerned, that dogma does not exist. What you need is another maiden that will give you children. And you need to locate that maiden and marry her faster than immediately. Or else, hey, let me not say anything. I knew you would take this path, so I came to apologize to you. I did not mean to harm you. I can never do a thing like that. I love you so much that I failed to control my emotions and it became an obsession. Please, forgive me. Stand up. I forgive you. Stand up. I forgive you. Thank you, my love. Please, do not call me that. I am on a mission to Umulili Kingdom to savage a very bad situation that has defied the healers in that land. And I ask for the blessings of everyone in Umuaka Diani. I volunteer to go with you. I, I can go with you from here. I'm afraid that would not be necessary. Bear it in mind that I have nothing against you. If the gods want us to be together as much as you desire, then they will make a way for it. But for now, go home. Take care of yourself. I have a journey to make. A good man by every standard. Even after what I did, he still forgave me. Why can't the gods give him to me? Why are you crying? When you already know I can never leave you. I'm crying for myself. Why? You are, my, you are my mother's room already. You have every part of me now. Let's allow the girls to finish what they started. I hate that this is happening to me. Mother, it is not your fault. I am doing everything humanly possible to ensure we retrieve your womb back from the womb. It is a challenge that you have to face squarely with a strong heart. It saddens my heart to hear what people say to you because of my condition. It makes me feel so bad. That's why I wanted to end it. Oh, come on, come on. Don't say that, okay? Don't cry for me, okay? Put yourself together. You are a strong woman of this land. 
learn to embrace any challenges that confronts you. Please, wipe those tears. I don't want to see you cry again. Thank you. Your heart is kind. Your words are encouraging. I am right here for you. Daughter of the moon. What you are using are magical powers. You don't have the monopoly of it. Here in my land, we have men with excess magical powers. <laughs> 